Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and CurrentAdies.org. Today we're going to be continuing categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at the mood of categorical syllogisms now. Just as the figure is the arrangement of the terms, the mood is the arrangement of the propositions, the A's, the E's, the I's, the O's, and what order they are in. There are 64 different moods you can possibly have, times four different figures leads to 256 different categorical syllogisms out there, but there are only 24 that are even conditionally valid. That means if you made one up at random, you'd have a 5% or 1 in 20 chance of having it be valid. In figure 1, there are four versions that are unconditionally valid. That means valid for both Boole and Aristotle. And there are two that are going to be conditionally valid. That means not valid for Boole and only valid for Aristotle if something exists. Don't worry, we'll get into that more later. For figure 2, similarly, there are four unconditionally valid, two conditionally valid. For figure 3, there are also 4 unconditionally valid, 2 conditionally valid. And finally, for figure 4, there are actually only 3 that are unconditionally valid. But there are 3 as well that are conditionally valid for a total of 24 valid versions. It's interesting to note that EIO is going to be valid for all figures. So if you stick in any arrangement of middle, subject, and predicate, that will work. That's going to be unconditionally valid. Similarly, EAO is going to be conditionally valid for any figure. And we'll take a look at these in more depth in the following videos. That was the mood. Next up, we're going to take a look at unconditionally valid statements for each of the figures. Then we'll be taking a look at conditionally valid statements for each of the figures. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Cardatis.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.